Prices on almost everything still rising. It's something you see at the grocery store, at restaurants, and big box stores. NBC's Tom Costello has a reaction from Main Street to Wall Street. The latest inflation data is telling us what most of us already know and live with every day. We are all feeling the strain of rising costs deep in our wallets. I'm spending more money, that's for sure. Consumer prices are still on the rise, up 8.2% year over year as inflation's impact hits essential expenses. Compared to last year, the price you're paying at the supermarket has risen 13%. The cost of medical care climbing 6.5% and electric and gas bills up 15 to 33 percent. 100 gallons was 539.90. While the persistent pain of higher price tags is felt on Main Street. We definitely had to adjust our budget for sure, all for everything. Wall Street's reaction was extreme volatility Thursday. At first, the Dow sank more than 500 points in the morning, then rebounded, closing more than 800 points higher, though that progress may not be permanent. Now all eyes are shifting to the Federal Reserve again, which is expected to increase interest rates by another three quarters of a point next month. Doing so would likely make it more expensive to buy a car, use a credit card, or buy a new home. Are we looking at a real possibility that we could be headed for a recession because the Fed keeps hiking rates so aggressively. Whenever the Fed is raising rates, the specter of a recession is always present. But if we're heading into a, a recession, it'll be the weirdest downturn that many of us have ever seen. That's because the job market is still strong. Unemployment sitting at a more than 50 year low of three and a half percent. But at this gelato shop in Pennsylvania, owner Sally Gadea says she's doing her best to freeze the pain of inflation. We're just walking a tightrope of trying not to use too much labor and balance out those rising costs. 